Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In the previous video, we started to discuss the changes to the 3D surfaces in action. We now have a flat, bilinear, perspective and extended by cubic surface type. All the surfaces with the exception of flat are vertex driven surfaces. So you can grab any of the vertices and change the physical shape of the surface. This is nothing new to artists using previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. However, the underlying 3D technology making this possible has been fully exposed at the user level. All vertex driven surfaces now expose the underlying UV coordinate system which controls the texturing of the surfaces in action. So to clarify, I'll start off with the extended by cubic surface to highlight all the newly exposed functionality. Workflows using the previous version of the software were flexible, but there were still limitations making some workflows counterproductive. To list a few examples, you could subdivide a surface but not go back. You could not track the vertices of the extended by cubic. And just trying to align a texture to a surface proved difficult. So work was done to overcome these limitations and bring about a new creative flexibility but with a familiar workflow. Looking at the vertices menu in the interface, you can subdivide the surface as before. But you can now reduce the segmentations by merging them within the surface. This removed the necessity to have the bicubic surface as an option in the surface types. Bicubic and extended bicubic surfaces are now one and the same. Another point to mention is the preservation of animation on vertex points even when subdividing or merging a surface. If vertices had been animated, as long as they are not deleted when merging the surface, the animation will be preserved on that vertex. And if the surface was further subdivided, the animation on the surface is interpolated through the new vertices so the surface animation should remain consistent. The other important point is that you need to be aware of the vertex and UV point model that drives the shape of the surface and how the surface is textured. Understanding this concept will help you take total control of how to use the surface for typical work and even for scenarios you might not have considered in the past. Warping, beauty work, image cleanup, sign or screen replacements and even set extensions are ideas that I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, and I forgot to mention that all the vertices and UV points are trackable using the extended by cubic surface. To conclude this video, I want to look at the menus and a recommended workflow of working with vertices and UV points. When working with the extended by cubic surfaces, you are presented with a few menus in the interface. The vertices menu controls the placement of an individual vertex or a selection of vertices. This is also the menu where you will access the vertices tracking which will be covered in a later video. Now I must stress at this point that vertex adjustments must be done using the result view that shows the 3D compositing space. This does sound like a rhetorical point to make, but adjusting UV points is normally done using the 2D object view to accurately control the texture mapping. So switch to the UV points menus. The UV points menus looks almost identical to the vertex menu. However, you are manipulating the UV coordinates of the texture wrapped around the surface. In order to view the texture without 3D distortion, press F8 to switch to the object view. The object view shows the UV space of the image. The whole point of the object view is that you have a clear means to see your texture and manipulate it in relation to the surface. This view is 2D because textures are two-dimensional images. So to utilize these tools in an efficient manner, I suggest pressing ALT 2 to use the 2-up view. In the object view with F8, you can see the texture in 2D space. And in the result view with F4, 
you can see the surface in the 3D compositing environment. The vertices and UV point grids have an explicit relationship with each other. However, the vertices are visualized in 3D space. And the UV points are represented in 2D space. This relationship between vertices and UV points will be explored in the next video. Coming back to the result view, you are still able to manipulate the shape and its texture without always referring to the object view. But the 2UP workflow will definitely allow you to keep a firm grip on how the vertices affect the UV points and vice versa. Coming soon, we'll take a good look at the explicit relationship between vertices and UV points. This will include all the modes you need to know to efficiently manipulate the surface and its texture. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.